I can get to the bottom of this. So now I'm going around as the brokest man at work. Y'all think I'm joking. One pair of pants from now on. Two shirts from now on. All that three days a week stuff, double it. You want to dig for gold? I'm going to show you how empty this dirt is. <laughs> If you're a gold digger, I am the worst lick. Don't let this 595,000 subscriber count fool you. My pockets stay on empty like a girl on the first date. Every dollar I make either goes back into YouTube or my rent. I am not Minecraft. It's gonna take more than grabbing my wood to get gold. Stop calling me Stanley and call me Periodic Table because if you think you're getting gold from me, then A, you got me effed. Up. The first time I got some attention on YouTube, a lot of Caucasian people came out of nowhere with hard hats and pickaxes ready to start mining like a 9 to 5. And I would have probably fallen for a gold digger back then, but they are awful at shooting their shot, which is kind of confusing because as an American, isn't it normal to shoot at niggas? Some girls even straight up ask me to pay bills or loans that they got like, Stanley, please, can you help me pay for a tow truck? My car is stuck in the middle of the road and it won't move. Sounds like traffic to me. I am not a ATM. I'm a person and I hate telling people that, but it's true. I put a lot of time, effort, and labor into nurturing my wealth. And girls say things like, you can always just make more money after they realize you were dating a gold digger. But if I took something from a girl that took a lot of time and effort and labor to create, all of a sudden, everyone in a 50 mile radius is getting an amber alert. How come there's not a gold digger alert? It could be so simple you download an app and as soon as a girl is caught digging for gold no no not that digging for as soon as someone is found using their significant other for money being a notification to everyone in a hundred mile radius goes out because that would give me a better chance of knowing who is and isn't a gold digger but until then i'm stuck doing the detective work myself but i am far from being sherlock holmes if investigating was my job i'd be sherlock homeless because i can't solve a thing that's why i literally had to act broke to find out who was a gold digger when I worked at Panera. One of my managers at the time was really cool with me and I was really cool with her. Probably because I work harder than Cristino Ronaldo trying to beat South Korea in the World Cup but they literally had me slaving for eight hours a day at Panera and ironically making bread wasn't making me bread but North my manager would at least treat me to discounted food, snacks, and always gave me long breaks. So basically, still a slave, just a house one. And even though she's done some, um, questionable stuff in the past around me, North was pretty all right for the most part. So naturally, we swapped socials and became friends online, which leads me to telling you guys, I am the king of keeping my life personal, okay? I may broadcast myself to a 100,000 people for a living, but I'm very private. So nobody knew that I was a aspiring YouTuber until I hit 100,000 subscribers. Mwah, beautiful milestone. And because I really messed with Nora, she saw me post it on Instagram and that triggered the beginning of the end. Once she saw the play button, she was one of the first people to congratulate me on my newfound success, which made me happy. I genuinely appreciate when people compliment my videos because it's one of the most important things to me, especially at the time where I went viral. But the quick rise to local community stardom didn't prepare me for people who tried to benefit from my labor. A couple days after posting the play button, I go into work and it's a regular day. The customers are polite. Here's your change, sir. Appreciate you, my nigga. Nobody called out for work. Hey, who's closing with me? Hello? And my managers were doing their job. Sir, a customer wants to talk to you. <laughs> yup, just uh, a normal day. I work my shift like I usually do, 
but North is acting a little odd. She keeps coming up to me and talking about vacations she wanted to take and things she was thinking about getting, which isn't weird, I guess, considering Secret Santa was coming up, but she started saying things while I'm working like, oh my gosh, Stanley, I really hope I get AirPods for Secret Santa. Hey, oh, if you don't get me for Secret Santa, would, would you still buy me AirPods? Just weird things like that. And honestly, I have no problem gifting people if I have the ability to do so, but if that's all they want me for, then I don't want to be a part of that relationship. So the whole two months leading towards Secret Santa, I'm monitoring her moves, our conversations, the prices of the things she's asking for, and I'm not gonna lie, nor started digging a little bit. But I wasn't ready to call it quits on our relationship. She was cool people before this. But then this happens. I'm chilling at home. I get a DM. It's from North. You already know. North tells me she needs money for her car. And I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it because as my manager, she makes more than me. And on top of that, why would you assume an 18 year old who works at Panera has more money than let's say you, your mom, your dad, and here's the kicker, your significant other. She's literally in a whole relationship. The only reason she would think I have extra money just lying around is because of YouTube. So I don't answer back for a minute. And when I do, I tell her, sorry, I was asleep. And she tells me it's okay. It's whatever. Cause she just took out a loan and I still feel the weird gold digger vibe. So I don't say anything at all after that. The next day, after she just asked me for all that money, right hand on the bible she comes to work with an entirely brand new car she was trying to make me buy her a car when i don't have a car myself so i'm like okay relax let's not jump to any conclusions here maybe she's borrowing it from a friend or a family member whatever i start working and throughout the day she continues to brag about this new car and i don't know about you but i'm not gonna brag about a car that i don't own so now i'm in a predicament i can ignore all of these red flags or i can get to the bottom of it so now i'm going around as the brokest man at work y'all think i'm joking one pair of pants from now on two shirts from now on all that three days a week stuff doubled it all of a sudden i don't have money from anywhere else so i'm busting tables six days a week penny pinching you want to dig for gold i'm gonna show you how empty this dirt is and over time Lo and behold, I start feeling this gap and this distance between us, but nothing changed. I was still a hard worker. I was still nice, but once I removed the possibility of her receiving anything from me and her little pickaxe didn't find what she was mining for, she left. And from that, I learned it's very important to observe the role someone is making you play in their life and to move in the direction that makes you comfortable because that will make the wrong people leave and the right people stay fade to black